China thought they'd won. NASA's $4 billion gateway was getting canceled in 48 hours. Beijing was already planning their victory lap. Then SpaceX dropped a bombshell that left China's space agency completely stunned. One genius move turned America's biggest space failure into China's worst nightmare. The secret? It's so simple yet so brilliant that China is now desperately trying to copy it. But they're already seven years too late. What did SpaceX discover that shocked the entire world? Let's dive right in. December 2024, NASA headquarters. The conference room falls silent as the final calculation appears on screen. $4 billion per launch. Not $4 billion for the entire program. Per single launch. Administrator Bill Nelson stares at the numbers that just sentenced America's lunar dreams to death. The Lunar Gateway, NASA's crown jewel for beating China to permanent space dominance, has become the most expensive mistake in space history. How the hell did we get here, someone whispers. The answer's brutal. NASA's original plan looked brilliant on paper. Launch the power and propulsion element first, then send up the Halo Habitat module separately months later. Let them rendezvous in lunar orbit like a cosmic dance. But space doesn't care about your plans. What NASA discovered was terrifying. You're trying to dock two school buses traveling at 2,400 miles per hour, 240,000 miles from Earth, with a three-second communication delay. If anything goes wrong, you've just created the most expensive space junk in history. The engineering nightmare spiraled out of control. Two complete spacecraft two propulsion systems, two navigation computers, two everything, backup systems for the backup systems. The weight kept climbing. The cost kept exploding. Then came the phone call that changed everything. But first, China dropped their bombshell. While NASA was drowning in budget meetings, Beijing was playing chess. October 2024. China's space agency unveils their master plan with a single presentation that sent shockwaves through every Western capital the International Lunar Research Station, not an orbiting gas station like NASA's gateway, a permanent city on the moon, nuclear-powered, mining-capable, fully operational by 2035. The message was crystal clear. While you're building a rest stop in space, we're building the future. Russian partnership confirmed. Multiple nations signing up? Absolutely. China was creating their own space alliance, while America's dreams imploded. Pentagon analysts ran the nightmare scenario. If China establishes the first permanent lunar presence, they could claim territorial rights, control lunar resources, own the ultimate high ground. The space race was back, and America was losing catastrophically. Senator Ted Cruz put it bluntly during a classified briefing. We're about to hand China the keys to our solar system. The room went dead silent. Everyone knew he was right. October 15th, 2024, 2.47 p.m. Eastern. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson is literally holding cancellation papers when his secure phone rings. The caller ID shows SpaceX. The conversation lasts exactly 23 minutes. By the end, the biggest crisis in NASA history becomes their greatest triumph. Why are you launching them separately? Asked the voice on the other end. Just mate them on Earth and send them up together. Nelson almost laughs. Almost. Until he realizes the caller is dead serious. The SpaceX team presents their solution in real time. Instead of two separate $4 billion launches, one $90 million Falcon Heavy handles both modules together. 98% cost reduction. Overnight. But here's the part that made NASA engineers fall out of their chairs. By connecting the modules on Earth, SpaceX eliminated the single biggest failure point, that terrifying autonomous docking maneuver. No complex rendezvous, no communication delays, no missed connections. The modules arrive pre-connected and ready to work. How is this even possible, Nelson asks. The answer changes everything. The genius wasn't in the rockets. It was in the thinking. NASA's approach, build everything to last decades, with triple redundancy, tested for every possible scenario. SpaceX's approach, build it good enough, launch it fast, 
fix problems as they arise. The numbers are stunning. PPE and halo modules, 15 metric tons combined Falcon Heavy Lunar Capacity, 16 metric tons in expendable mode, perfect fit. Pure coincidence? Absolutely not. SpaceX had been planning this for years, but the real breakthrough was Dragon XL, a cargo system that flipped space logistics upside down. Traditional approach, small, frequent deliveries requiring constant launches. Dragon XL approach, one massive 11,000 pound cargo run every six months. The beauty? Dragon XL doesn't come back. It stays at Gateway for half a year, acting as a floating warehouse. When it's empty, it gets ejected into solar orbit, taking all the trash with it. Environmentally responsible space exploration. Who knew? NASA's logistics nightmare vanished overnight. When Chinese space officials learned about SpaceX's solution, their confident timeline suddenly looked vulnerable. Internal Beijing documents later revealed the panic. America just gained a seven-year head start. China had been banking on American delays. Their 2035 moon base assumed NASA wouldn't have a functional lunar outpost until at least 2032. SpaceX just handed America operational capability by late 2027. The Chinese response was swift and telling. Emergency funding increases for lunar programs, accelerated development timelines, desperate recruitment of international partners. But they faced a fundamental problem. They'd optimize for surface operations, not orbital logistics. Switching strategies now would cost them years they didn't have. The space race dynamics completely flipped overnight. Here's what makes this solution so brilliant it seems impossible. Weight distribution perfection. The combined PPE and halo stack weighs exactly 15 metric tons. Falcon Heavy's maximum lunar payload, 16 metric tons. That's not coincidence. That's engineering artistry. Risk elimination. By mating modules on Earth, SpaceX removed the most dangerous part of the mission. Autonomous orbital docking with split-second timing across 240,000 miles. Timeline acceleration. Gateway becomes operational by late 2027 instead of 2030. That's not improvement, that's time travel. Cost revolution. From $4 billion per launch to $90 million. Even accounting for mission complexity, we're talking about a 4,400% cost reduction. The technical elegance is stunning, but the political impact? Explosive. Senator Ted Cruz couldn't contain his excitement during budget hearings. This is exactly what American innovation looks like. Private enterprise solving problems government couldn't crack. The transformation was instantaneous. Senate Appropriations Committee, unanimous approval, annual funding, $750 million through 2028 political opposition, completely vanished. Why? Because SpaceX made space exploration affordable again. International partners rushed back in. Europe's ESA doubled gateway contributions. Japan's JAXA, fast-track lunar modules. Canada's CSA, committed robotic systems. The Western Space Coalition was back in business. But SpaceX wasn't done shocking the world. While NASA celebrated their gateway salvation, SpaceX quietly unveiled something that left even China's engineers speechless. Raptor 3. Remember the original Raptor engine? Engineers called it the Flying Spaghetti Monster, a chaotic mess of cables and components that somehow worked. Raptor 3 looks like alien technology. 560,000 pounds of thrust. That's 100,000 pounds more than Raptor 2. Specific impulse of 350 seconds. Approaching the legendary space shuttle engines. Weight reduction of 170 pounds despite massive power increases. How? SpaceX's secret weapon. Advanced 3D metal printing technology. Components that used to require dozens of separate parts. Now printed as single integrated units. Cooling channels built directly into the metal structure. No external heat shields needed. The visual transformation is shocking. Raptor 3 looks so simple that competitors thought SpaceX was showing fake pictures. Elon Musk's algorithm at work. The best part is no part. The best process is no process. 
Here's what's driving Beijing absolutely insane. They can't see how it works. SpaceX integrated everything internally. All those external components that competitors could study and reverse engineer, gone. Hidden inside seamless 3D printed structures, China's trying to copy something they literally cannot observe. It's like trying to reverse engineer a smartphone by looking at its case. The technology gap just became unbridgeable. Gateway isn't SpaceX's endgame. It's their stepping stone. While China builds their moon base, NASA will already be planning interplanetary missions. Gateway becomes the refueling station for Mars missions, asteroid mining operations, and deep space exploration. SpaceX just turned the moon into a gas station for the solar system. But here's the ultimate revelation that has China's leadership in emergency sessions. SpaceX is already working on Block 3 Starship. Current Starship, 9 meters wide, 33 engines. Block 3 Starship, potentially 12 meters wide with 42 Raptor, 3 engines. Total thrust, 11,760 tons. That's three times the power of the Saturn V moon rocket. China spent decades building their space program around centralized government control. SpaceX just proved that American commercial innovation moves faster, costs less, and delivers impossible results. The ultimate question isn't whether America will beat China to space dominance. It's whether China can adapt their system fast enough to even compete. The answer is becoming terrifyingly clear. They can't. So here we are. SpaceX didn't just save NASA's Gateway Project. They completely rewrote the rules of space exploration. From a $4 billion disaster to a $90 million masterpiece. From America losing the space race to gaining a seven-year advantage over China. But this story reveals something much bigger. We're witnessing the moment when private innovation officially outpaced government bureaucracy. When one phone call can flip global space dominance overnight. China spent decades building their lunar strategy around American delays. SpaceX just made that entire playbook obsolete. The question that keeps me up at night? If SpaceX can revolutionize moon exploration this dramatically, what happens when they turn that same innovation toward Mars, toward asteroid mining, toward making humanity truly multiplanetary? We're not just watching a space race anymore. We're watching the birth of an entirely new era of human expansion. What do you think? Is this the moment America secured permanent space leadership? Or will China find a way to adapt their strategy? Drop your thoughts below. And if you want to see how SpaceX's Raptor 3 engine makes all of this possible, check out our deep dive on the most revolutionary rocket engine ever built. The future is happening right now. Don't miss it. SpaceX's $200 million Dragon capsule just survived hell at 17,500 miles per hour. Perfect splashdown. Then engineers saw something that made their blood run cold. It was sinking fast. A critical pump died, threatening to flip the capsule with four astronauts inside. But the real shock? This failure could doom all future Mars missions. Let's dive right in. At exactly 4.23 p.m. Pacific Time, Dragon Capsule C-208 slammed into the ocean at 25 miles per hour. Perfect splashdown. Recovery boats cheered. Mission control erupted in celebration. Steve Stitch's voice rang out over NASA comms. Nominal landing confirmed. But 17 seconds later, everything went to hell. The celebration died instantly. Something was wrong. Horribly wrong. The capsule wasn't floating right. It was tilting at a 12-degree angle, sitting dangerously low in the water like a wounded whale. Stitch's voice cracked over the radio. We have a ballast system anomaly. Recovery boat captain Mike Rodriguez watched in horror as 15,000 pounds of spacecraft began behaving like a drunk sailor. Waves that should have gently rocked the capsule were now slamming against its hull with devastating force. Each impact sent shockwaves through the titanium frame. Four astronauts sat trapped inside a $200 million death trap that was slowly drowning. But here's what NASA didn't tell you in that clinical post-mission briefing. 
This wasn't a random failure. This catastrophic breakdown was inevitable, and SpaceX had been expecting it for months. Every Dragon capsule carries a secret vulnerability that could turn any ocean landing into an underwater coffin. Deep in the service module's belly, two water ballast pumps fight a constant battle against physics itself. These aren't just pumps. They're the difference between heroes coming home and families planning funerals. When Dragon hits the Pacific, it's not gently floating like a boat. It's a 15,000-pound missile that just survived temperatures hot enough to melt copper, now trying to find stability in an environment that wants to kill it. Ocean swells reach 8 feet on calm days. Storm conditions can generate 20-foot walls of water that hit with the force of a freight train. Here's the nightmare scenario NASA doesn't want you thinking about. Those ballast pumps fail, and the capsule becomes an uncontrollable cork. Waves slam the tilted spacecraft. Water floods the hatch seals. The emergency escape systems become useless because the exits are underwater. Recovery divers can't reach the astronauts because the hull is spinning like a washing machine in a hurricane. NASA's 2019 survival analysis calculated this exact scenario. Probability of dual pump failure, 1 in 847 missions. Probability of crew survival if it happens, 12%. Those aren't odds. That's a death sentence with paperwork. But Crewton's failure wasn't the dreaded dual system breakdown. It was something far more terrifying. A single pump that should have worked perfectly just died. No warning, no degradation, no explanation. One second it was pumping 2,000 pounds of seawater per minute. The next second, silence. Why did a system engineered to NASA's most stringent standards suddenly commit suicide? The answer will change everything you think you know about space travel. To understand how catastrophic this failure really was, you need to grasp the hellish environment these pumps operate in. Deep inside Dragon's service module, ballast pumps fight against crushing forces that would instantly liquefy a human body. 300 bar of pressure, that's like having a full-grown elephant standing on every square inch of surface area. These pumps move 2,000 pounds of ice-cold seawater per minute while enduring temperature swings from minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit in space to plus 180 degrees Fahrenheit during re-entry. The metal components expand and contract like they're breathing, stressed beyond anything terrestrial engineering ever imagined. Each pump assembly weighs 47 pounds and contains over 200 individual components. Titanium impellers spin at 